Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. We're going to go ahead and play the last match of the season, but before we do, I obviously am going to show you how the season went and also a small amount of tweaks we did to the squad as well. So if I go back to the transfers screen, transfer history, at the very end of the season we did three changes. Um, the first one was Danny Lloyd. We went to... Um, basically tried to improve the squad marginally but also I think one of those changes was forced I can't remember which one it was but anyway Danny Lloyd came to replace um, Herson Alves I think and um, no he didn't he's on the left he plays on the left oh yeah Stephen Kenny he came to replace Stephen Kenny um, so yeah so we got Danny Lloyd on a free transfer from Dart Ford I think Stephen Kenny is still around in the uh, reserves team, but he's just declining a lot in ability and also he requested a, tran a transfer. So there we are. So Danny Lloyd is new to our squad. The other change, uh, Stephen King, our new um, center midfielder. Again, just a bit of a patch in the squad. Obviously, we're going to completely redo the squad again um, next season and obviously he's 38 so he's probably going to be retiring soon but um, yeah we had a bit of a decline in that um, area Jamie Andrews was not really living up to it um, although his performance was okay but yeah just uh, needed a bit of oomph in the midfield and lastly we have a new defensive sorry a new left um, fullback Again, just a quick loan to replace uh, David Fitzpatrick, who was falling off the edge of a cliff with his stats. So, yeah, just needed someone to patch up that side as well. So, small th three small changes. Uh, we have our new uh, youth squad has just come in as well so we've got that in place nothing impressive got this kid who looks like he might be good a long way into the future but yeah, nothing really impressive at this moment as you can see just an average squad currently in seventh yeah so those are the small tweaks now as far as this, the league goes as you can see we are 15th we have not been having a very good patch of matches like um, of, of, as of late. We lost for the semi-final for the FA Trophy, which is understandable against uh, Nottingham County. Uh, I think this, yeah, they're second. And for the Van Rama, we are out of the playoffs. The maximum we can now achieve is 11th. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna just continue in this league for the next season. Now I'll take you through the next match and then the rest of the episode is going to focus on looking at the end of season awards and things like that. Um, and then for the next episode I also I actually plan on showing you how I do the transfer window. So I'm going to have a full episode not looking at any matches or anything like that, just looking at how I... Um, look, for, look for players. I haven't actually shown you this in this series yet, so that's going to be the plan for the next episode. Now, while I'm here, I had a bit of a... Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take the chance to tell you I've, I had a bit of a look on Patreon, uh, just to kind of neat thing, uh, make things neat there again. Tidy, thing, tidy things up. And... Um, yeah, so one of the things that I tidied up is I realized that the tiers were a little bit jumbled up. So uh, now, now that it's while it's fresh on my mind, it's I think it's there's three tiers. Uh, three a tier uh, the three pound tier is just for general support. There's a four pound tier if you want to have your name on the credits at the end, and there's the six pound tier if you want to have your um, like a new gen named after you and the deal with that is you um, it's like a first 
kind of first served. So the first person that goes into that tier will have the best re- new gen. And then we'll just follow, it. like every episode, we'll just check in on that new gen and see how they're doing. Um, if ever I use new gens in the um, senior squad, which I don't yet, I don't think, then I might introduce an, another tier. I don't know, like a eight pound tier or something like that, where you get a senior team new gen. Um, so you get to see, not only we get to follow it, but also we get to see that new gen playing with us as well. But I haven't I haven't got any at the moment, so there's no point in me making that tier yet. So yeah, just to kind of say that here rather, rather than at the end of the video. Uh, to go and check out the Patreon, see if there's any way you want to support the channel. And uh, all of the things that people say on YouTube, like and subscribe and all of that. Anyway, so we still nil nil in this match. I'm quite excited for the next season actually, because we, we are in a pretty good financial position at the moment, so the budget should be okay. Although we are buying the stadium and that scares me a little bit. Because that's going to drain some of our finances. We have improved our junior coaching to average. And we are in the process of increasing our junior level as well. A youth level. So the youth is about to get a bit more beefier. Which costs money, of course. We'll look at that in a minute. I'll look at facilities in a minute. Um, yeah, so next season, hopefully we'll be able to make quite a few changes to the squad, improve the squad a lot more. I'm still not able to go professional. I'd love to go professional, but that is a massive expense. So, um, yeah, I, I'd say the only limitation to the club at the moment is the fact that we're not professional. So the even though we, we can improve our training facilities, etc., we're not making full-time use of them. I think Danny Lloyd is going to come up for Will Longbottom. So yeah, so next episode you're going to get to see how we do the transfer window. Uh, how I'll look for players, what is the system for that. I have a, a slightly method methodical way of doing it, like a systematic way of doing it. Um, so it might not be like very organic or whatever, but it does work for the most part. Okay, it's a nil-nil for that one. Let's see what they're bringing us on the table. 14th, so 14th change. For a club that has just been promoted, I am pretty happy with that, you know. Obviously I was aiming for playoffs, but... Oh well. Right, let me show you club info. Also, we have a new affiliate club. Uh, Shawbury is now our junior affiliate. Uh, Force Green is still our senior affiliate. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, now facilities, we are in about we are in the process of buying the stadium, so that'll be ours soon. Uh, we have adequate training facilities, below average youth facilities, average academy coaching, and limited youth recruitment at the moment. We do have some things in the pipeline, I think. The yeah, the youth levels being increased and the stadiums being bought. While we're here, let's see if I can ask for anything else. We definitely need that. Never hurts to ask for a new senior. So let's ask for that. And I think that's it. Now, after the playoffs are finalized, we can have a look at the uh, end of season awards. Here is the budget for next season. Not massive, but a lot better than last season. Last season, we had no transfer budget whatsoever. Uh, so that was, that's a change. I'm gonna terminate this guy's loan because he's we're no longer using him and it's just money being poured out. And what's the deal with the rest of the people? 
transfer window, transfer window, transfer window. Okay, I need to wait for the transfer in window. All right. Yeah, he's been our best player, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, he'll continue with us for next season. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Surprising, we did a lot less money this year from sponsorship. That is very surprising, actually. Here we have our main 11, and I broadly agree with it. Record breakers, Nikki with 12 yellow cards. That's amazing, actually. Um, and then Hamzad with the fastest goal, and Nikki Bailey with the oldest age. Fan play of the year, Jude Russell is our centre back. Uh, young player of the season, uh, our striker that we just looked at, also the signing of the season. Goal of the season by Jamie Andrews, who's uh, no longer in the first squad. Top goal scorer, we know him. Most assists, we'll long bottom with 10. Most player of the match, 9. For our striker, also the best average rating and the most passes completed, centre back Dave Stevens. No competition awards. And then we have the usual timeline, um, which, to be honest, I don't really know how to use, and it's slightly annoying. But anyway, finish. We had a couple players induced to this squad. Oh, one thing I like to look at is the favorite personnel. No one's been added to it. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. We now have uh, 59 more fall. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I would have assumed since we played and stayed in the top in the league above, um, then we we would have had a lot more than that. Anyway, vision for next year largely unchanged. Maximum year contracts for players. Ah. Informal objective is the first time that I've ever seen an informal objective, and also the first time I've seen this one in particular. I'm going to negotiate all of this, and I'm going to try and remove everything. Uh, suggest. Okay, I'm just going to have to agree. Confirm. Finish. Okay, so they, they are quite keen on uh, this objective being their one-year contracts for age um, players age over 32. Ooh, I've got an interview. I'm going to decline that. For the Irish, I've had a couple of interviews uh, proposed from clubs in Ireland. Uh, this needs attention. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're down to the end of season meeting. Let me see what the avoid relegation. All right, discuss plans. Now, I'm gonna come clean with you guys. I I always dread meetings. It's one of the things I never know what to press. So just in case I mess it up completely, I'm gonna save. I treat sometimes these meetings as a like as a first person shooter, and if I if, if I kill myself, then I go back and and make it all good again. So I better come clean on that and just say it to you guys as it is. Um, now, the objective is to avoid relegation, right? So what have we got here? We're good. We're not... Blah, blah, blah. Well done to avoid relegation. We'll just have to... Sure, we aren't involved. In That's our target. Looking ahead at Max. Yeah... It's been a long season. I hope you're all okay. Great, you're doing. We're going to need to come back fully refreshed because I think we're going to be in a relegation. Okay, I wanted to make. Uh, 
Over the off season, we'll be forced into making some changes to quite help us turn a profit. No. Uh, I wanted to take a few moments to mention that over the we'll be looking to bring some new faces into the squad that fit in with the club's objective. Competition replacement will be tougher as a result. Hmm. That one, I think. <laughs> Alright, I didn't shoot myself in the foot. Good. Alright. Good, good, good. And then this bit tends to be easy. Right. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, did you decline? Yes, I did decline because I've got no intention of going. Thanks. All right. There we go. Uh, the board has announced the paperwork has been completed and the club now owns the stadium. The, ob the club's objective of, to f of buying their current stadium has finally been realized and their vision for the future is very much taking shape as a result. Hmm. Uh, Harefoot has successfully applied to raise their youth category to rating category 4. The annual cost of running the youth setup is £81,000. Okay, and there we go. That's it. We now own the stadium. I could ask him to expand the stadium, maybe. Also, uh, does that, has that changed anything around here? Nope. Finances, okay, not a, not a bad hit. Not as bad as I thought. We didn't have to take a, oh, maybe we did. Yeah, we did have to take a loan, but that didn't hit our expenses as much as I thought it would. And there we are, and we are not changing our senior affiliate. I think that's everything um, for this season. The playoffs haven't played yet, so maybe I should just try and press on with that. Just in case we get any awards at the end of the season. I doubt it, but... Um, no thanks. Not doing any transfers just yet. Not expanding the stadium, fair enough. Let's look at the facilities now. It's club owned. Oh, and average corporate facilities. That was not the case earlier, right? That was improved, I think. So Gateshead is out of the um out of the league, so is Colchester. Eastlings out of the league. Uh, we are now paying a tax bill. We've got a new sponsorship. Not much bigger, to be honest. New scouting budget. Let's see what have we got here, finances wise. Okay, we made a bit of a profit. Lots of players retiring, which is absolutely fine. We do have quite a few older players around. If we look at the squad and selection, not general info, we have uh, two actually, not as many as I thought. Two retiring, I assume, yeah. Uh, I don't think any of these guys will retire just yet. And then we have these two as well. Well, he's retiring and he's just leaving. So. Nope, not doing transfers just yet. Thanks very much. still up there in the race. So is Eve's fleet and not? Although I think Eve, didn't Eve's fleet lose? Or did the, 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 the three of them get promoted? Is that what happens? I'm not sure. 
Let me just look at the competition itself. Oh no, they go to the final together, okay. And there we go, Eve's fleet gets promoted. We get a payout, uh, we pay our players a payout. Uh, okay, Eve's fleet and Chesterfield get promoted. Everybody goes away on holiday. And I think we've had no awards whatsoever. Uh, yeah, there'll be lots of deals. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to offload... Oh, they can't just yet, for some reason. Uh, it's gonna be Scott. For Colchester, they won the league. And there we have it. I think there's nothing else for us to do now uh, in this season. So I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to come back when I'm actually doing transfers. I'm going to come back and show you how I do the transfers and all that. So thanks so much for watching until the end. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.